Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome to Steambot Mining Capitalism Sim Simulator 2. Um, also known as SteamWorld Dig 2. We are digging in SteamWorld. Alright. We have an exit telling us where to go. We should probably listen. Wow, that guy kind of cheated. Mason Station! Okay. Step on that, opens this, down we go. Into the water. Alright, will that open a switch for us? Cool. Anything over here? No. Disappointing. Here? No. Here? Ha! There we go. Photo of a missing love. And I got a trophy hobbyist collector. Alright, obvious what that switch does. And that one. There we go. Gonna need that. Alright, cool. Alright, so yeah, we've got to get to this one by way of our passage. Drops onto that one. Does, that finally opens the way for us. Gives us a bunch of stuff, but I'm going to run out of space. Oh. Nuts. I've got to go... i got to go dump this stuff. Oh, I can't get out of here. I'll have to come back for everything I miss. What a pain. Alright, we got the jackhammer! So, holding out one? Talk to Fen. Hey, your bag's already full, doofus! Well, that's enough, I guess. Okay. Let's get out of here and get back up and sell our stuff. And then we gotta go back in that cave and get all the things out of it. Should have thought about that before I ever went in there. She lost it after her house tumbled during one of the first earthquakes, see? Now she's building a rocket with all her sweet inherited scratch. I even heard she's in contact with a whole network of rocketeers. They're building these things all over the planet. I made it below the wall and found Mason Station, but no sign of Rusty yet. Hey now, why would any sane bot want to dig that deep? You don't want to enter Shiner Country now, do you? The jackhammer will smash through them bricks and take you down there in no time at all. Watch your water level, though that tool will gulp it down like a sailor bot in a desert. 
Hey, just don't need any of those insane chiders up here. That'd be the last thing I need. All right. It wants us to enter Shiner Country. That's our next goal, but what I really want to do is... Oh, I leveled up somehow. Oh, from just doing those things. So now I have level six. Get up here. You could push these guys around with the jackhammer. Like so. It's actually kind of an important thing to know. But now I've got to redo all these puzzles. Well, not all of them, I guess. But if we get on top of here, there's this. Definitely want to get that for $20. Fill our water back up. And then we were in this area. Right. Alright, was there no upgrade cog in this area? I honestly don't remember. But it seems like I've missed something. Maybe not. Huh, fun. Okay, I guess I'm just paranoid. We'll know when we leave the cave. Nope, it's marked as done, so we got it. And now we can go down through these bricks like so, but what we really, I think, want to do is go back up to town, see if we can upgrade this thing, or our water source. Wow, you found a pressure bomb launcher! That triple plunger design makes for a smooth flow through the siphon tube. It'll shoot a self-adhesive projectile that sticks to any surface before detonating. I bet it makes a big splash. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I um got carried away. Um, you managed to get through to Mason Station, I see. That hammer will drive a huge punch and break through even the hardest sections of brick. You'll be able to explore the other side of the wall easy peasy. And it's got upgradable fuel supply and everything. A stronger pneumatic cylinder would allow for increased maximum operating speed. Um, I mean, it's got a lot of potential, is all. Okay. Hi. Uh, I mean, hello. Um, I got a new shipment of parts. It will let you upgrade pretty much all of your tools. I mean, upgrade them even more neat, huh? Okay. All right. Man, that's a lot to upgrade to tier 2. Yeah. Okay, pump up the jam improves the jackhammer's wind-up speed. I don't have the cogs to upgrade that.
All right. Dual Depot lets you store two gems per slot. We need that. We can get rid of this. We can get rid of that. There we go. And now we want to go back down above the wall. Oh, not what I was going for. Alright. Huh, I don't think we've gone in here. Trial of a bluff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah. Like, what we need to do about this is go over here. And then remember what I said about pushing these guys? Well, we need to push this guy. We let him through, like so. I think we can actually do this this way. We can just get it to, like, run at us. Like so. There we go. We weren't supposed to be able to just uh, slip through there like that, but we did, so let's just pretend it's intended. And that's it for that cave. Jeez, these guys are everywhere. Alright, I'll take the free money. And then also, if we do this, we can go through here. Wow, I was fixing and building, till all of a sudden re I realized I'd forgot my tools. <laughs> if, you, if you can keep your trap shut about it, I'll give you this here important looking paper. It'll make your adventure a bit more challenging. Only use it if you like laughing in the face of danger. Oh, and no need to tell my brothers about this, eh? Glad we see things the same way. So we got Blood Quest. We can equip it at the workbench. It is another blueprint. Okay, let's take a look at this wall. Alright, looks like there's one obvious way to go down. There we go. It's nice that they decided to give us some water there. We like that. Alright, so I think what we're gonna do is head back up. If we can. Yeah, we can. I've made such a spider web of tunnels. There almost has to be a way up from here. Not a lot of money, but we are getting there. We've got 25% bonus now. We can't get a new pickaxe, or we can't get a new anything yet. Man, everything's so expensive now. But if we look, what this does is down here, blood quest. Gain bounty at the price of blood. Doubles the chance to get bloodstones when enemies die, but also increases the damage they do to you. Activating this cog mod will make your quest much harder. It is only recommended for veterans. A double-edged sword, indeed. Do all of these have... How to stay out of harm's way, never stop vaccinate? Wait. 
how to stay out of harm's way. No, yeah, Molotov vaccination. Oh, water is all around. Weird. Pump it up while your feet are stomping. These are so weird. Catch me when I fall. Every rose has its thorn. Save yourself with a mighty flash. Better to illuminate than merely to shine. Oh, that's kind of cool. More of your time spent in flashes of light. Don't fear the reaper. Seasons don't fear the reaper. Nor do the wind or rain or snow. No place to be ending, but somewhere to start. A small space with big benefits. It's either my way or the tile way. <laughs> if the hunter comes back with mushrooms, don't ask him how his hunt was. Alright, so uh, when we come back, uh, it'll be a new play session, but we'll be doing this. I'll see you for that. Bye, everybody.